clases. Sí, porque ya no. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Good, good. Sorry for the few seconds or minutes uh, late, but the computer, uh, the internet is kind of slow, so I don't understand why. Maybe it's because of a lot of rain. Um, I see new faces here. Problem. Can you guys hear me? Are you a teacher? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, we can hear you. All right, good, very good. My name is Francisco Marroquin. Um, I'm going to be in charge of this group for this month. And um, from 8 to 9 p.m., I'm 48 years old, almost 49. I live in Lourdes. I'm married. I have five kids. And being an English teacher is my occupation. I work in different places, including some classes for INSAFOR. So um, in my free time, <clears throat> which I don't have much free time. Well, now I do. Everybody does, I think. Um, I spend time at home watching television. Sometimes I play with my kids uh, and just uh, regular things you will do at your house. Um, and basically that's, that's everything about me. Um, what about you guys? Uh, okay. Can you tell me a little bit about yourselves? Are we going to have any order? Any? So we can talk? No, no, just uh, just uh, whenever you feel like order. talking, you just you just start talking. Okay, you wanna, you my wanna name be is Ricardo one? Gonzalez, nice okay. to meet. Uh-huh. And nice to meet, my name is Ricardo Gonzalez. Um, I, my, uh, I am Five and I can see. And I'm working right now with my sons in a little business that they have here in Apopa City. Okay. And that reason, um, sometimes you are going to see with them. See me? Okay. With this kind of, of shoes because uh, I'm working and I have to stop to work with them. So I can to and to join to this English class because for me, uh, class, English class, and um, are very important. Good, good, very good. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay, who wants to introduce yourself you. next? Who wants to be next? Jaime, Henry, Patricia, okay. Victor, My Carlos. Name is My name is Jaime Aviles. Uh, all people uh, call me like uh, James. Yeah. I am like uh, uh, 29 years old. I work at Tibor Salvador. Uh, responsibilities in this uh, company are uh, solve problems for corporate clients and check the, the network every day. And I, I am married and we don't have children yet. Okay. Is, um, is, that, is that your house in the background? Is, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> It's a fake. Okay. <laughs> it's, a fake. It's, a, uh, it's a fake. It's only image. decoration. Yes, it's only decoration. It's All right. Background. Background, yes. And, right. and I live with my with my wife. And my hobbies are riding a motorcycle and watching TV. Okay. This is all for me. Good, very good. Thank you, Jaime. Who's next? 
Time is money. Any of the ladies? Veronica, Miss Navarro, Alvarenga, Elizabeth Castro. Hello. Hello, Veronica. Good evening. My Good evening. name is Veronica. Veronica Jimenez. I work at Textiles La Paz. And I'm so happy to be in this class. Only that. All right, good, very good. Thank you, Veronica. Who's next? Remember that just like uh, any other aspect in life, practice makes perfect. So if you want to improve your pronunciation, your stress, your grammar, everything, it is necessary that you speak at least the first day, which is the day that you have to introduce yourself. So who's next? Oh, well, good evening. Oh, sorry. So, uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, thanks. Good evening, everyone. My name is Gloria Navarro. Uh, I live in San Marcos. Uh, I have a son. Uh, I work. Uh, but uh, in this moment, uh, for the coronavirus, uh, I am going uh, to working uh, in my house. I am. I have a home office. Uh, in my free time, I like uh, watch uh, movies. And I like to exercise. And I like uh, learn English. And I I need a uh, uh, speak for good. my work. Very good. Thank you, Gloria. Okay. Who's next? Thank you. Hey, me. Okay, Mr. Alfaro. Uh, good evening to everyone. My name is Foster Ulises Alfaro. Uh, I'm 35 years old. I'm married. We have two beautiful daughters. Uh, one's um, nine, uh, almost nine years old, and one is a little child, uh, only five months old. Okay. Uh, I work for Tiwal Salvador. In my free time, I, mm -hmm. I like to play the guitar. And also in my free time, all oh, my free time, I do dishes, I do mop, I do laundry, uh, all the father, father husband, thing that that's basically all. Oh, all right, good. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure to be here. And, and greetings. All right, good. Thank you, Foster. Who's next? Uh huh. Only one. Only one. Victor. Hi, good evening. My name is Victor, and I'm a software engineer. I'm working at home now, and I just living with my wife. No children yet. And my, Hello. And some interesting English, just uh, to know the, the language. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Who's next? Henry, Laura. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. How are you? My name good. is Henry Urbina. I work in a club channel. I'm a TV host. In this moment, I make the, the, the program in my house is the, the, my home up. Is in my free time, I love to uh, go to the movies, uh, go to a theater. Uh, I love drink coffee. I live with mom, with my brother. I have not a child. Uh, please only. All right, good. Thank you, Henry. 
Who's next? Hi. La Hello, Laura. Laura. Uh -huh. Hello, um, well, my name is Laura Barrera. I'm 31 years old. Um, I like to play the guitar, the ukulele. Um, I'm a technician in clinic laboratory. Um, so, well, I'm not married, but I do have a boyfriend. That's it. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you, Laura. Next one. Brenda, Melissa, Alina. Uh, 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 hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Melissa. I'm 28 years old. Uh, right now, I'm working in Kimberly Club in financing. I want uh, learn English very good because I need to my job, and I like it. I like travel, and I need um, talk English uh, with another people. Okay. Now, when you say Kimberly Clark, do you mean the plant in Opico? Yes, in San Juan Opico. Okay. And where do you live, Melissa? Where do you live? Okay, good. Um, straight to the... <laughs> El Puerto. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, good, thank you. Who's next? Hi, good evening. Yes, sir, Carlos. This is Carlos. I work in Tigo, El Salvador. I'm a software engineer. And in my free time, I like to watch video and something in English in a social network and a news one. Mm, I I am 25 years old and I want to learn English because I, I need to grow up in my knowledge about this idiom. All right. Good. Thank you, Carlos. Who's next? Thank you. Next, let's see, Alba. Brenda, Aleida, Patricia. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, Alba? Fine, thanks. I want to tell you that it's nice to see you again. My name is Alba Alvarenga, and um, I am 28 years old. I live in San Salvador, and I work in a college like a academic coordinator. And that's it. Good. Thank you, Alvi. Okay. Anybody else wants to introduce yourself? Uh huh. Elizabeth. Hello. But, uh -huh. Hello, everybody. My name is Aleida Vasquez. I'm third years old. Actually, I'm working to from a TV offer. I'm living in Mexicanos, and I'm living alone just with the, my my puppy dog and and that's it all right good what's your puppy's name <laughs> firuris firuris <laughs> all right good <laughs> what what kind of dog is it a uh, big dog small dog it's a small dog but it's um yeah it was a, a dog in the street and i take it to my oh. home Oh, okay. So you adopted the dog. Yes. All right, good. All right, who's next? Patricia, Elizabeth? Hello. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Castro. Uh, I am working at Tigo, and I am a, a developer. I am 26 years old, and... I live in Merliot, so I I am single and I live with myself. Good, I good. Not. All right, good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Hello. Hello, Patricia. 
My name is Patricia Rodriguez. I live in Mexicanos. I am a married. I have two sons. I am a contact. I work in EY or Ernest St. John. This company is the service of auditing and advisory and tasks. Um, in my free time, I like to go to the to the beach. I like to go to the, the cine. Uh, I spend with my son in the house. I clean my house. Um, only. <laughs> All right, good, very good. Thank you, Patricia. <clears throat> okay. Who's next? Someone that hasn't said anything yet? No. Um, hello, everybody. Hello. I am Lisette, and I work at Tigo. Um, I am married. I have two children. Mm -hmm. um, in my free time, I like... Um, I like see serious. Um, I love coffee. Good. Only. Coffee is one of the best things in the world. Yes. <laughs> Especially early in the morning. Um, every day. <laughs> yeah, A any time of the day, huh? Any time. Yes, any time. So it, when you drink coffee, um, let's say if you drink coffee right now, does that provoke you insomnia? No, nothing. No. Okay. Mm -mm. In, in my case, you know, I, I'm drinking hot tea, not coffee, because if I drink coffee right now, I get insomnia at this time. So 5 p.m. is the latest for me. Okay. Yeah, no, for me, for me, Anything hours. Oh, any any time is any, good for any you. Any time, yes, yes. Anything. All right, good, good, nice. Thank you, Lisette. <clears throat> Anybody else? Anybody else? Ooh. Anybody else? No one else. Hello, everyone. Yes, sir. <clears throat> hey, my name is Alex Ramirez. I am thirty-four years old. I work at the office groups as a business intelligence analyst and I am married and I have two children. All right, good. Thank you, Alexander. Anybody else wants to introduce himself or herself? Brenda? We can hear you. Can you check your microphone? Hello. Hello, we can hear you now. Okay. Uh, good night, everyone. Good night. I am Brenda Lopez. Uh, I am 33, 34 years old. I live with my parents. I work for Tio, uh, like Foster is my co-worker. And I, I like to watch movies and series when I have free time. And that's it. All right, good. Thank you, Brenda. Anybody else? Anybody else? <clears throat> No. So I see like five or six people that said that they work in Tigo. Um, do you see each other? I mean, do you guys come from the same branch? Brenda and I, yes. Okay, not the others. No. Okay. Um, in my case, I live in, I, I live in yes. Santa Ana and work in Santa Ana. Oh, okay. What part of Santana? In my case, I work been? with Carlos Asensio in the same area. Oh, okay. All right. Good. Can you repeat? What part of Santana do you live in? Near a hospital, San Juan de Dios. Okay. Good. Good. And Elizabeth? 
or, or, or who was who, who else comes from Tigo? I'm sorry, can you repeat? Who else works in Tigo? I work with Lisette. Okay, all right, good. Okay, so um, just to make sure that we are on the same page, uh, the class is from Monday through Thursday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. So we have these video conferences, uh, the days that I just mentioned, but more important, you guys need to check the platform on a regular basis. So for example, the topic that we covered today, if you have the chance, um, after the class, you can visit the platform or you can do it tomorrow during the day, if you wish. So the idea is that you do not accumulate any work or you don't leave any work behind. Um, so try to like whatever we cover each day, try to cover the same material in the platform. So that way um, you don't have any work behind. And when we finish the course, you have all the work already completed. Um, I don't know if you have any questions or comments about the course. No. Had, had everybody been in this program before? No. Or no, is this your no. first time? No, yes. Yes. this is my first time. All right, good. So welcome. Yes. Um, as you know, like much of the work that we do, you know, like whatever topic you have in the platform, I mention it in the live session. I give you a little bit of feedback, uh, further explanation, but it is your responsibility to do the work in the platform. So the work in the platform is the most important, the most relevant thing about the whole course. Now remember that every class is recorded and um, you received an email where they give you the link to the WhatsApp group, a link to the YouTube channel, um, if you need to report or comment on something, they give you an email. So there is, if for whatever reason you miss this class, let's say tomorrow, you can always watch the class in the YouTube channel. So uh, like I said, in the email that Inglés Corporativo sent you, there is a link, just hit it mm. and you can visit the class the following day. So, um, Sometimes I upload the class the same day, sometimes the following day early in the morning or during the day, but it's not going to be after 24 hours. So for whatever reason uh, you miss classes, you can always watch the class in YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, any questions uh, so yes, far? Yes, I have a question. Yes, Ricardo. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, in any case, uh, for example, if I can um, be um, in the in the right time, for example, right now because my internet was finished, and I had to put a uh, recharge. And but if if I uh, miss this class, is it, it is it necessary that I have in in presence to this no. class? Or? No, no, uh, that's a good question. Uh, like I yeah. said, your priority is the work in the platform because wow. that is how you're being evaluated. So that's why I said uh, whatever topic that we cover each day uh, after we finish or the following day if you want, you need to visit the platform and complete the exercises. Now, if for let's say you disappear okay. for 15, 20 minutes or maybe you're absent the whole class, you can always go to the YouTube channel and you can watch the the class that was recorded uh, the night before. Okay, thanks. Yes. Any other questions? Uh, I have a question. Yes. Um, can you explain us about the platform? Um, Yes. Um, the, the, the platform. Yes. Um, the platform is really easy to use. It's, it's very friendly. It's very basic. 
So, uh, Inglés Corporativo sent you an email with a link to the WhatsApp chat, a link to the YouTube channel, a link to visit uh, the platform. When you go to the platform, you go to unit one and you go step by step, you go in chronological order and it will tell you exactly what you need to do. So uh, my recommendation is um, go to the platform like, like today or tomorrow, go to the platform if you haven't done so yet and visit and do the material that is there. If you have any questions or comments related with the platform, you write it down and you can ask me in the session or you can send me a WhatsApp chat and I will be happy to answer back if I have the answer. Um, so it's very easy to do. Try doing it today or tomorrow if you can. If you have any questions or problems, you can ask me or you can ask uh, in the chat. Uh, the person okay. administrating the platform, he's already in the chat, so uh, uh, he can answer your questions too. Okay, thank you. Sure. I have, I have a question about the recording video. Yes. Uh, this, uh, this is uh, saved in the YouTube channel, but it's um, private for, for all the group class or for all people? No, uh, the only way you can see this video is when I upload it to the YouTube channel. Yes. Uh -huh. For so, so if, uh, what is it? Subscription of, of no, channels. not necessarily. You just need to click on the on the on the link that Ingles Corporativo sent you. you. Just click, and it takes you directly to the YouTube channel, and you will see the classes there. Every class has a date. Like today's class is gonna be June first. Two part verbs, uh, eight to nine p.m. And it will go in chronological order. So when you say, oh, I was absent the first day, you just go to the one that you are missing. Yes. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? I have uh, questions. Yes, Victor. Uh, what, is the, what is the ideal order of the, to receive the class? First, the, the, the class and then the platform or first do the exercise in the platforms? Uh, some of the topics that you will see in the platform are not new for you. It's just like a review. Uh, some topics will be new. So what I recommend is like, imagine this class is physical. It's, you know, like we're in a regular classroom. We're having face-to-face -face interaction. Uh, I recommend my students to check the book first to see if they are familiar with the topic or whatever. And uh, so when I speak about it, you know, you have, you, you have the chance to, to make the questions or comments, but everybody's different. You know, that's the way that I see it. I would like you to see the platform first, but if you want to see the, if you want to see the session first and then the platform, that's okay too. That's, that's not a problem. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Who else has a question? No one else has a question. All right. No. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, who has had the chance to visit the platform? I do. Okay, so you visited the platform, Laura. Who else I visited? Do. Okay, good, good. Um, I do, do you? Too. Okay, very good. So, do you guys remember the first topic? Uh, to, to phrasal verb. Uh -huh. phrasal, phrasal verb. Good, phrasal verbs. When we talk yes. about phrasal verbs, we're talking about verbs that have two parts. You have two the parts. verb and you have a preposition or a particle. Um, when you change the the particle or the preposition up, down, in, on, at, uh, the meaning of the verb changes, Change. right? Yeah. And sometimes yeah. that particle or that preposition is not necessary to talk. How do you say sentarse in English? 
Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Uh -huh. Now, sit down. But, you, but you can perfectly say, please sit. And, and, it's, and it's okay. So uh, how do you say ponerse de pie? Stand up. Stand up. Stand, stand up. up. Stand up. But you can say, please stand. Please stand. Mm -hmm. and, and, and people understand you. Many, many times you can omit the preposition and your message is still clear. But in some cases, the preposition is necessary. So let me show you um, an image. Let me see this here. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's right here. Do you see the screen? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. where is yes. this conversation? Where is this conversation? Room? In the living room. How do you know it's the living room? Because there is a coach. <laughs> okay, there is a coach, right. A couch, yes. What color is the couch? couch. It's green. Green, green. green. uh-huh. What else do you see in the picture? A frame and a stairs. Yeah, stairs, a frame. Uh, a, how old? How many people are there in the in the picture? Four. 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 Who are those four? Any ideas? Parents. Parents. Parents, Parents and, and, and the kids. kids. Okay. The kids. All right. You can say kids. You can say children. How old do you think these children are? Ten to teenagers. Teenagers. Yeah, teenagers. Okay. Uh, what's the girl doing? What is she doing? It's talking. Calling. Calling. Exactly. They're, she's talking on the phone. What's the boy doing? Watching TV. Watching TV. Watching TV. Watching TV and eating. What is he eating? Snacks. Snacks. Potato chips. Potato chips. Okay. And what's the man wearing? What is he wearing? His car. Uh, what is it? The boy. No, the, the man. No. Uh, the, the father. Talking, maybe. Uh, okay. Bear. But what is he wearing? Is he uh, wearing sweater? shorts? Yeah. A uh, sweater? What's, what's the yeah. name sweater? of that sweater? I don't remember. Okay, how do you say chaleco in English? Belt. Jacket. Okay, uh, if you want to say chaleco, uh, you say vest. Vest. Okay, vest. Do you see your WhatsApp chat? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So you say vest. What color is the vest? Red. 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 And what kind of shirt is he wearing? T-shirt. Long, uh, long, long what? Long, long, long sleeve. sleeve. Long sleeve. Yes, long, long sleeve shirt. Sleeve. Very good. What color is the long sleeve shirt? Pink. 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 All right, good. All right, any questions about the picture? No. no questions? No questions. No questions. All right. So we have Mr. Phil, we have Jason, Mrs. Phil, and we have Lisa. So we have four people speaking. I need four volunteers. I can do Me, teacher. Okay, Laura, you're going to be. Mi Mrs. Field. Okay, I need Mr. Field. Me. Okay, Victor, you're Mr. Field. Um, who's going to be Jason? Me. Okay, Jaime and Lisa. Me. Me. Okay, Brenda. Okay, very good. Uh, so remember when. 
when you see this here, the exclamation mark, what, what does the exclamation mark indicate? Shouting. Shouting or you are exciting. So your intonation needs to change. Now, what's the function of the comma? A pause. A pause. A pause. The period? The end. Okay, so when, a, when you see a comma, you pause. When you see a period, you stop. And what happens to your intonation when you have a question mark? Your intonation has to be of a question too. All right, are we ready? Yeah, All right, yeah, so ready. let's go. One, two, three, start reading. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. Mm -hmm. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it up, turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. Carol all over the floor. In a minute. Mom, I am on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you okay. hang up. No problem. Goodness. We were like this when we were kids. Definitely. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions about meaning or pronunciation of words? The last sentence. Uh, Define the Mr. Phil. Definitely. 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 Yeah, definitely. Yes, definitely. 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 Uh-huh. Any questions about uh, meaning or pronunciation? Any other questions? No. Okay. No. So right now I'm going to make uh, pairs because I had more than four people who wanted to read. So I will make sure that everybody reads. I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. Um, so if I'm working with Jaime, uh, I'm going to be Mr. Phil and Jason, and he's going to be Lisa and Mrs. Phil. When we finish, we switch. He's going to be Mr. Phil and Jason, and I'm going to be Mrs. Phil and Lisa. Are the instructions clear? Yes. All right, so let me see. I have 19 people. So I will make nine groups. Here we go. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me... Um, let me see this here. Da -da -da. Okay, so I just sent you an image of the of the conversation, breakout rooms. Here we go. Thank you. 
está. I don't know. The, the, the same conversation, true? Yeah, the same conversation. Just make sure that everybody has the chance to read. Okay. Yes. So go ahead. I can see the the picture. Uh, Do you have it in the WhatsApp group? Yeah, it's in the WhatsApp chat. Yes. I don't have anything in WhatsApp. Do you do you have my number? Um, no, I don't remember. Okay, my number is. Do you have pen and paper so you can write it down? Okay. Or just write something in the chat, like it's me, Lisette. Okay. I send. Okay. I send. Let's see. Did you send it where? Where did you send it? In the chat at, at this group. Okay. Okay. So let me see. Ha ha ha. So you don't have any, are you in, in the WhatsApp chat, Lisette? Uh, no, I, I. Okay, so I'm, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going to send it to your email, uh, I mean, to your WhatsApp. Seven, nine. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I find you on WhatsApp. Okay, it's right here. Look for you. Okay, did you receive it? Yes. All right, good. So go ahead. Hello. Hello. Are you guys doing the the reading practice? No, I I don't have the the conversation. Okay, are you in the WhatsApp chat? Yes. Okay, uh, can you say something in the chat right now so I can send it to your number directly? Uh, in the, oh, okay, I, I. You got I it? Look in the conversation. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Uh, in Alexander. Hi, Melissa. Hi, okay. Uh, I am first. Uh, okay. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. Favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Please, uh, please pick up this. It's very loud. Okay. I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Ah, oh, sorry, Lisa. 
All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay. Okay. Finish, go. Down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please. Ah, oh, no, it's you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Lisa, please pick up your things. They are all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. <laughs> okay, no problem. Goodness, where we like this when we we were kids. The uh, definitely, I, I know always the pronunciation. Definitely. Definitely. definitely, definitely, yes, definitely, 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 yes. We finished, teacher. All right, let's go back to the main session. Let's go. All right. All right, did everybody get the chance to read? Yes. All right, any questions about pronunciation, intonation, or meaning of vocabulary? No? No. Okay, so as you can see, when you are using two-part verbs, Sometimes you can separate it, but sometimes you cannot. Um, let me show you this. Can you see that? Can, can you see that image? No, yet. Not I'm yet. Not sure. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Share screen. What about now? Yes. Yes. All right. Um, so as I told you before, you can call it two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. They're exactly the same. Uh, when we talk about a two-part verb or phrasal verb, we're talking about a verb plus a particle. The particle can be different. It can be in, on, at, off, uh, you name it. That's the particle. The example that we have here is put off. Put off. What's the meaning of put off? Okay, but put off exactly. What comes to your mind when you see the word off? What is off? No. Okay, yeah, that, that's one of the things that come to your mind, like salir, quitar, dejar. So it, it, it's usually something negative, like don't, don't do it or don't use it anymore. Now we have the one here when we say put. So you say, where can I put this? Put it on the table, put it in your room, put it in the car. Now if you put put off, then the meaning of the verb changes because the particle or the preposition that you use has a different meaning. And when we're talking about uh, two-part verbs, this is one of the topics that people need to practice a lot because, uh, especially because of the meaning that the verb gets when you change the, the verb, uh, the, the, the particle. So let me show you this. Can we okay. say that is can we say that it is the opposite then? Uh the opposite of what, Ricardo? For example, when I say um, put, that means 
poner. Yeah. But, but if we but if we put off and can we say that is is this the opposite of, of uh, this word? In for some, example, in, sure. In, in some, in some cases, cases, in some cases, uh, that would be the um, the answer, the opposite. So say the put opposite. put off. It's the opposite. Yes. So uh, in some cases, not all the time, but mm -hmm. yes, in some cases it applies. Okay. Yes. So, Ricardo, can you please read the first part of the image that we have now? Okay, two partners with nouns, with nouns. Mm -hmm. If the object is a noun, it is usually possible to put this before the particle or after it. Mm -hmm. The noise walk the giant up. The noise walk up the giant. Giant, thank you. Yeah. So when uh, we're okay, talking, sure, thank you. When we're mentioning okay. a noun, the particle can become after or after the nouns, just like the example that we have here. The noise woke the giant up or the noise woke up the giant. So here, woke up is cannot be separated and here you separate it. You separate okay. it. So when you're mentioning that the object is a noun, you can separate it if you wish. <laughs> let me let me play this a little bit more. Okay, and here is the second part of the explanation. When you can separate it, when you cannot separate it. Okay, uh, Laura, can you please read the image, please? Two poor birds with pronouns. But if the object is a pronoun, it must come before the particle. Uh -huh. picking, uh -huh. picking up. He put, I'm sorry, he keeps putting, put it, put it off. Uh -huh. call, uh -huh. call her back. Call her back. Thank you. So when we're talking about pronouns, we're talking about object pronouns. Because remember that English has... Grammar in English has eight different parts, including pronouns. Now you have object pronouns, you have personal pronouns. Here, we're talking about object pronouns. So pick him up, he keeps putting it off and call her back. So when that is the case, like the part that Laura read, if the object is a pronoun, it must come before the particle. So um, this is the theory. This is like the brief explanation we can say, but you have to do a lot of practice. Whenever you have the chance, you have to practice uh, different things about the English language. Are there any questions so far? In this case, we can, we can switch them. For example, call back here. No, or pick, you cannot. Pick up him. If okay. it's if it's a noun, you can. But in okay. this case, since we're using pronouns, you cannot. Okay. Yes. Teacher, so yes. when when it's a, a noun, uh, it can be said but but two two ways. Two different forms. Yes. Oh. Two different forms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? This is just like the very first part of the introduction. Tomorrow we will have more examples um, and more practice for you guys. Um, any questions okay. before we are dismissed? Okay. No? No. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. I will see you tomorrow, same place, same time, eight o'clock. And if you can do it today or tomorrow during the day, visit the platform so you become familiar with it and you don't accumulate any work.
You guys have a good okay. night. Thank good you night. too. Bye. All right. Thank see you, you later. Bye bye. Thank you. Good 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 night. Night.